Hello everyone, this is Colin from Colin's Pizza, and this is a news video, obviously, from the title you read. So I haven't done a news video in a long time, it's been a long time actually, and um, well, this news video I think is very necessary, because my opinions on this topic are just, I can't contain them, I just hit my mic, I can't contain my mind right now, like it's just, why? Okay, so now we're, now we're getting into this. Um, so if you read the title of the video, you know this is a news update for the new Pokemon game, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for the Nintendo Switch. So I've been waiting for this Pokemon game for a while now and it's finally coming. And I'm not happy, not one bit. I mean, I have mixed, I have mixed feelings and if you guys saw the trailer, or any of you watched the trailer, then you will know why I have mixed feelings. And it's just, it's just terrible. But starting off, we in the trailer it starts off with like um, Pikachu in the real world, and you're playing. Po it starts with you playing Pokemon Go. The person on like is playing Pokemon Go, and right off the bat, I don't like that Pokemon. When Pokemon Go came out, the idea and concept of it was great. It was cool. But as time went on, it was repetitive, it got boring, and it, it, it's repetitive, like, it's it, it's not good. Like, it's, it's a fine once in a time and you can delete it, game. But to create like a, a Switch game based off that game is just terrible. This trailer starts with Pokemon Go, and then you follow Pikachu into your house and you start playing your Switch. And the first thing I thought of when I saw like the gameplay is like, is this, is this Kanto? And yes, the game does take place in, Can in the Kanto region. So it's sort of basically um, red, blue, and yellow remake. I think more so yellow remake because um, you if you choose either Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, um, when you choose, they get to follow you for the rest of the game. So like in Pokemon Yellow, how Pikachu follows you the entire game. It's like that. So yeah, there's two games, because it's Pokemon, obviously. And the first negative part of the game is when you catch Pokemon. So you know how in regular Pokemon games you have to battle them, get their HP down low, then throw a Pokeball, and if it doesn't work, then you try to like get, the, get their health down lower, or do a status effect like poison, sleep, paralysis, any of that stuff. Not in this game, no. Instead of doing the traditional Pokemon catching system or like battle system for that, they're going with the Pokemon Go system. Where you have to like flick a thing and the Pokeball goes on the po goes to the Pokemon. So in Pokemon Go, your phone, you know, you have your you have your phone and you just you swipe it, you know, because that's what you do to the, the Pokeball. In Pokemon, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Let's call it Pokemon Switch to give it easier. In that game, you have to give your Joy-Con and you chuck it. There's no battle. Nothing. You just choke, you chuck your Pokeball at the Pokemon. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. And for people who like Pokemon Go, good for you. That's great. But then there's people who like tra traditional Pokemon. Where's the challenge? Where's the adventure of actually like battling this new Pokemon that you find and trying to catch it? I was talking with a friend, and after we watched the trailer, he said that the best part about like one of the best parts about Pokemon is finding the new Pokemon. And battling them, seeing what you can do to get their HP down lower and stuff, and then, then catching them. Like, just the, the thrill and adrenaline of that is great. And we're not going to get that by flicking our Wii, our, our Joy-Cons at the Pokemon. Like, it's not going to be great. And my first time through the trailer, I didn't see any battling at all. But then I went back, and there is, there is battling in the trailer. There's, it's like in the middle on the golden bridge, also uh, from Kanto, you are battling a bug catcher, and you can see clearly in the bottom corner the type of attacks you're going to do. So that's great. There's the actual battling of opponents is still there, which is good. So in the trailer, then we go back to. Yeah, it shows a lot of doing the Joy Con and doing catching Pokemon like that. But then something I think is pretty cool, I'm kind of open to it. I'm not sure how they're going to do with it yet, is the co-op. Yes, that's right. In this Pokemon game, two people can be playing at once. 
because you have the two two Joy Cons, so they're both playing. And I'm like, oh. and there's so there's double battles you can do, which makes it a lot easier probably. Then there's the catching. You both throw the Joy Con at the exact same time, and then you get a higher chance of catching it. I think. I just don't like the catching. It's not good. I want my regular Pokemon back. The gameplay back. Yeah, that's that's how you say it. Yeah, that's what I want from a Pokemon game, not the Joy-Con chucking Pokemon Go style. No, it's not good at all. But I am very open to the co-op player thing if that is good, because I could see myself playing with friends. I guess. I don't, actually, I don't know. But for I think for a lot of people like with siblings and stuff, I think that's gonna be really cool that they can play with each other. In, on one system together, which is really cool. One thing that I, like, I'm confused about, and this, this trailer does not explain very well, is how your Pokemon can evolve. Because what you, how you evolve Pokemon in the video games is you battle other Pokemon, battle trainers, and you get, gain experience points, and they level up, and when they get to a certain level, they evolve. In Pokemon Go, what I remember is you catch a bunch of the same Pokemon, turn the Pokemon into candy, it to one Pokemon and they evolve. So I'm, I'm hoping that Pokemon Switch, you don't have to catch a lot of the same Pokemon in order to evolve them. And I also know that the Pikachu and Eevee that you start out with, they do not evolve. They stay the same, which is kind of a bummer because I was, if the game is going to be decent, I was going to choose Let's Go Eevee and evolve it into an Umbreon, but I can't now. Thanks a lot, Nintendo, for ruining everything. Another new addition to this game is the Pokeball thing it's not see see it's not really new but it is it's the the physical pokeball thing i'm not sure if there's an actual name for it but it's basically a new pokey walker plus like furby i think so here is the original poke walker you put your pokemon in it from heart gold and soul silver and you can take it for a walk and you gain steps and they level up just one level kind of lame but you can catch new pokemon while you're taking them for a walk and it's just it's, it was a really cool concept back then but now for this new pokemon game you put your pokemon into the pokeball and you can take them wherever you want you can rub the ball and it makes weird noises but i think the the cool thing i guess it's cool it's interesting is that you can use the pokeball as a controller so like the um, normally in a pokeball you have like the little white little button center thing you press it's actually a little con joy con thing not joy con but it's like um, a joystick that you can actually use to control the game i think that's a cool controller people are totally gonna buy it i might buy it if it's worth it i'm not sure but i think it's a cool concept for this game that people will enjoy except for catching it's still lame it's still lame nintendo some Interesting things that you can see in the trailer are your your character riding Onyx. I think you're riding a Charizard, um, Lapras. Yeah, so you can ride Pokemon in this game. It, yeah, I know before you could ride like to surf and fly, but I think this time you're actually riding them, which is pretty cool. In my opinion, it's pretty cool. Also, you can connect your Pokemon Go to your Pokemon Switch. So basically, you can send your Pokemon from your phone to your Switch in some like Pokemon Go park. So it's like a little park your Pokemon can go to. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Not, I'm not sure there's much information on that yet. And also, you can send presents from your Switch into your Pokemon Go game on your phone. I think they're just trying to bank on this Pokemon Go thing. It's kind of lame. Sorry, Nintendo. I like traditional Pokemon better. So, yeah, the trailer goes out like around Kanto. You're catching Pokemon. I, I think the trailer is like, really showing the Pokemon Go stuff about it. Um, it looks great. I think like the visuals look really good. I think this is... A good step of where they're going for a Switch Pokemon game. It's not open. What's not, not open world? It's not like three dimensional. Like the, um, I think the environment's like HD. It's it's HD and beautiful and gorgeous and stuff. It's very simple. It's really good. The trailer ends with um, you finding Mewtwo. So hopefully, you don't just swing your Joy-Con at Mewtwo because that's gonna be kind of lame. What I'm what I'm hoping for. Is that there's an option to choose between the normal, regular Pokemon battling catching way and the the Pokemon Go way. I think a lot of people will like that. I think that'd be the best option because if you just got rid of, because they can't get rid of the Jo the Joy Con way, they can't get rid of it now. Like they, that's what they're going for. But I think if they added or, or are adding 
the regular catching way with battling and XP and all that, I think people are going to like that because you have two different audiences that are going to enjoy all, like the game a lot. Instead of just having one audience with another audience, you're having two different audiences. I just keep hitting my mic. So I know that I said this is more of an, as this is a news video. I think it's more of an opinion video plus news in it. It's definitely an opinion video. Sorry, Nintendo. Not a good job. Game Freak, you too. No excuses. I've seen better from you. Final, the ending thing on the trailer is that this game releases November 16th of 2018. So it's coming out this year, November, as usually as Pokemon games do come out. Um, I'm hoping that they release a better Pokemon game in the future. One that's not all Pokemon go -y. I think they will. Because Pokemon Go, it should not be a Switch game. It should not be. If you have any questions about the new Pokemon game, please ask them down below. I would be happy to look up more information to answer these questions because I also want to find out more information for myself. So if I have another reason to go look for information, I'm glad to. Also, write down in the comments, which game would you rather want? Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? And what, why? Why would you want that version? You know, different reason? Pikachu better than Eevee? Eevee better than Pikachu? Who knows? I would, I would personally go with Eevee. Because I want Umbreon, but I can't hit Umbreon. Oh well. Thanks again for watching this news slash opinion video of the new Pokemon game coming out. Um, I'm glad to be talking about it. I'm glad it's actually coming out now. It's been a while. I've been really wanting this game. So thanks again for watching and coming by. Um, don't forget to have a nice day. And do not forget to grab a slice of Khan's pizza. Goodbye.